Hey what's up you guys, it's Spartan and welcome to Life of a Hoplite Let's Play series. So for this series we will be playing as your everyday Spartan soldier in a massive Spartan army in a massive Spartan empire. So we will be joining Leonidas's Spartan army in order to take over all of Calradia for the Spartan empire. So let's go ahead and create our Spartan hoplite. All right, there we go. We have created the perfect Spartan, the thickest Spartan Calridia will ever and has ever seen. Damn, boy, he fit. But before we get into joining the Spartan Empire, let's go ahead and create his background and get him ready to become a hoplite. I think it would make sense if his family was merchants and he was going into like they paid for him to become a Spartan because they saw how fat he was and they wanted to train him with the spartans look at this dude <laughs> he's already probably 90 80 pounds right now and he's like i don't know seven years old i'm gonna say uh he's a charming man he's a big marshmallow spartan and he's very charming so you organize the travelers to break out there you go and let's uh figure out a name for him thick spartan with the big p yeah there we go Big Spartan with the big P. We always got to keep up the P tradition. We can never let it go away. It'll never, it will always haunt you guys in the corner of these videos. It will always be watching. But this guy is a big, dumb marshmallow that is really, really cunning and sociable. All right, boys, let's go into training real quick. We have to practice to become better as a Spartan right here. Oh my god, dude. you imagine? I, I can't wait until this guy gets some Spartan armor on and like a Spartan shield and just starts beating the crap out of people with his shield, dude. It's going to be so satisfying. So our family name will be Thick Spartans. There we go. Perfect. Look at that boy. Oh my god. All right. And then I think we should use... Yeah, we should use the big P. Big as possible. Red, maybe? That looks kind of nice with gold. Nah, we'll just go with the white one. Okay, this one looks the best. So we got a big old P flag, and we're called the Thick Spartans, and I am Thick Spartan from the Thick Spartans. <laughs> oh my god, dude. All right, yeah, let's get rid of our horse real quick, and let's get to the nearest settlement as fast as possible so we can start picking up some Spartans, because we definitely don't want to be ambushed by any, any looters just yet. Okay, so we'll get some peasant Spartans first, Hellenic Helots. There we go. We are so slow right now. But this should work on our athletics, which is what I really want to work on. And you know what? I might as well fight a small stack of looters before I do anything else. Yeah, let's go ahead and fight these guys. They do actually have a greater power than us, which is surprising to see. Hello, traveler. Hope you brought your purse. See, we are what you might call brigands, and I'm afraid we can't let you pass without paying a bit of coin. Fight me if you dare, you dirty looter. Really? I suppose I'll be getting my hands dirty today then. Alright, let's go ahead and have Thick Spartan. Look at him, man. He looks so confident as a leader. Thick Spartan versus the looters right here. Ooh, we got even got like a mist of war right here. Here, let's get some far distance shots. If we can hit something from here, we should get a lot of... Yeah, there we go. We should get a lot of skills. Ooh, right through the head too. My second shot. Oh, dude. Oh, I missed. Uh, I'll pretend like I got all headshots there. Dude, that wasn't bad, though. That was three headshots. Not bad at all. All right, go ahead and charge, boys. I'll use my spear and poke them from afar. I don't really want to get injured here. Yeah, there we go. Poke them from behind. Dude, this is this guy's just annoying me. All right, everyone leveled up, too, I think. Yeah, every single one. Nice. And we got two captives we can eat for later and put them in my belly, make me even bigger. And I'm going to, let's see, let's look at this tree. So we can go into the Hellenic, oh, we can get Hellenic calf if we really wanted to, which could be kind of nice. Phalanx men, royal, Spartans, Hellenic hoplites, um, what should I use? Honestly, the Hellenic elite skirmishers are really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and go with four skirmishers right off the bat. So we can just all throw tons of javelins at them. All right. So we got some boots from those looters. So that's good enough for me, but we're going to need more people if we are going to want to get anywhere in this world. And we need to actually, let's see. 
let's pause it real quick so we need to get to sparta over here so this giant faction is all of sparta so this is the northern uh, spartan faction there's the western faction over here and the southern faction over here so these are all spartan factions right here that we can work together and hopefully having a giant alliance in the middle of the map and be able to take out all the other factions that way so i definitely want to eventually take out the persians down here but i believe we are at war currently with the kuzites so the horse archers so that's definitely going to be a little scary since considering we don't really have cav but let's go ahead and see if we can marry into the spartan clan maybe all right so i think we're gonna try to win over zuana so we got to figure out where she is so she is at dathema or however you say that so we're gonna need to talk to her first so she's in the capital of sparta so we need to reach this capital of sparta if we want to even try to think about joining into the Spartan family. Oh, we deprived them $775 to enter the keep. Oh, is it going to be worth it? We're going to have no money. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So now we can talk to all. OK, so there's the two people we can talk to right here. So let's go ahead and go into the Lord's Hall and talk to Zoanna, the princess of Sparta. Oh, look at this guy right here, too. Oh, my God. Look at this beast of a man. Spartan champion, dude. And what are you doing? What are you doing stalking around over there? You're looking weird, man. <laughs> the Hellenics. The Hellenics are weird people, man. All right, there we go. So now we can talk to Zoanna right here. So this big marshmallow of a man is going to try to make his advances on Zoanna. Let's see if it works. Oh, I just kicked her in the face. I did not mean that. I am so sorry. I meant to talk to her. Your pardon, I did not catch your name. I am Thick Spartan, the thickest of the Spartans, and who are you, madam? I am Zoanna of the House Ostios. Our family has stood in the Senate and discharged its duties honorably since the first days of the Empire. Yes, I know. It is an honor to meet you, good sir. Would you care to pass the time with a game of tablet? You can play a game with her? Yeah, let's go ahead and play a game. Where are we going? Oh, we're going over here. I've never seen this before. I hope this is checkers. If this is checkers, I'm not ever going to lose this game. All right, let's go ahead and sit. Um, oh, it is not checkers. I think I can make my escape to the right. Yeah, there we go. So I can move all the way. You are too smart for this marshmallow dude, man. All right, so I have a quick question after that. Or there's something I'd like to discuss with you after beating me twice. My lady, I wish to profess myself your most adorant or ardent admirer. Ah, uh, yes, we are considering offers. Did you have someone in mind? I wish to... Oh, my God. I wish to offer my hand in marriage. What? I'm not ready for marriage. Perhaps you and I. I'm flattered, you sir. We meet from time to time, as is the custom, to see if we are right for each other. I hope to see you again soon. And she's gone. That is... Oh, she's... She's playing hard to get. All right, let's go ahead and get out. I, I don't remember how to get out of the chair. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so we, she beat us twice in that game, surprisingly. And But now um, she asked us to come back and go on a little date with her next time. So if we can win her over, we can join the Spartan Empire's family. So that could definitely bring us a lot closer to Leonidas and potentially getting a lot more fiefdoms. Our relationship is still zero with her, though. <laughs> she does not care at all. All right, that's okay, though. We spent like all our money just to get in there. All right, so now after doing that, we might as well try to find Leonidas himself. Leonidas is somewhere around here, probably fighting the Kuzites. So we got to find the man, the myth, the legend himself, Leonidas. And then hopefully we can join his army as a common soldier. Oh my god, there's Leonidas. All right, so apparently Leonidas is fighting a giant Kuzite army of 1,000 soldiers nearly with his 1,300 soldiers. All right, Leonidas, do you need some help over there, brother? I can I can slow them down for you, maybe. That's close enough. Who are you? I am the thickest of the Spartans, and who are you? I am Leonidas, rightful emperor of the Calridians. I am lord of Dathema and Argorian. All right, so I would like to serve in your warband as a soldier. So I would like to join your army, Leonidas. So now I believe we are a Spartan. <laughs> we are just a Hellenic Spartan for now, but... Let's go ahead and see if we can get into battle with this giant Kuzite armor. Oh, okay. So we are, there's one Spartan 
that has gone ahead to distract their Mongol horde. So one Spartan right now is fighting 1,000 Mongols just to delay them long enough for the Leonidas to get there. That is some, that is some 300 crap right there. Yeah, let's go ahead and join them. Oh my God, it's gonna be 1,300 Spartans versus 800 Kuzites right here. Abandon army, leave it to the others. Ah, you know what? This will be our first test. All they gave us was a piece of cloth to cover our naked body and uh, a dagger pretty much, but now we have to fight the Kuzite hordes. All right, let's go ahead and start this. All right, Leonidas is telling us to advance. I want to check on Leonidas real quick. I want to see him. I don't know where he is. All right, so we are we are put into this giant battle of 1,000 Spartans versus 1,000 Kuzite horsemen, which is really scary to see. And all they gave us was a dagger. This is all they gave us. But we are a big marshmallow, though, so we take, like, no damage. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this battle and try to kill someone. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to have to, like, steal someone's spear. Oh, my God. They have so many horse archers, too. Look at this. Jesus. They're mowing us down from behind. But it looks like um, Leonidas is telling us to go for the infantry for now. So that is what we shall do. Oh, my God. There's so many archers on their hill back there. All right. What are your commands? Infantry advance into their lines. Oh, boy. But we got, oh man, <laughs> one of the Hellenic recruits got knocked down. All the recruits are dying right now, man. Look at all those bodies everywhere. What are we getting ourselves into, man? I don't know if it was a good idea to join the Spartan army at this time. Is that Leonidas? Is that Leonidas up front? Oh my god. All right, boys, let's go. Let's go, peasants. Leonidas tells us to fight. We fight. Protect Leonidas. Protect Leonidas. Protect him, boys. All right, here we go. No, he just got stabbed in the back. Come on, we got we got to save Leonidas here. I know we are just a peasant, but we will use our body in between the enemy and Leonidas. All right, where'd he go? Leonidas, where'd you go? You all look the same, man. Oh, there he is. All right, we got this bodyguard Leonidas right here. All right, I will protect you, my lord, my king. The one true king of Calridia. Oh, shoot. You almost got stabbed, Leonidas, by this horse. I'll get him for you. Okay, I didn't get him, but all right, let's go get into this fight. Kill some of them for Leonidas. You gotta get him out of this archer's line of sight. There's like hundreds over there, man. Come on, boys. Oh, I have like no health. I gotta get back. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, wait, there's a shield on the ground. Oh, let me pick up that shield. <laughs> I got Kuzai shield. It's good enough. Oh, wait, no, I can pick up a Spartan shield right here. There we go. Now we're a shield turtle. All right, here we go, boys. We got to charge the archer lines. Come on, boys. We got to go. Push. Get their archers before they can run. Oh, we're losing so many men right here. I think, honestly, Leonidas has been shot down at this point. Oh, no. There's only like five of us left up here. Oh, you know what? I want to live. And no, you, you do you. You do you, boys. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, I died. All right, that's okay. We still got some Spartan leaders left on the field. But look at this, man. They're so coordinated. Are we losing this? All right, so we have 300 kills, but they have 355. Oh, we are slightly losing. This is not good. Look, they're sending the peasants with the banners up. What are they doing, man? They really just gave peasants daggers and sent them against the Kuzite horde. That is not a good idea. Is that a, is that a farmer on horseback? That's a Spartan right there. Are you kidding me? He doesn't even know how to move that horse. Reinforcements are inbound. Spartans are here to save the day. Look at that. That's awesome. All right, there we go. Looks like we have taken out all the archers finally. The archers are finally breaking. The Mongol horses are running away. It looks pretty good. That was a close battle right there, man. Kind of disappointed I went down, but I should have... I leveled up a couple times, and I should be tier 2 now, so I can finally actually get a Spartan shield. Alright, so they killed 537 Spartans, and we killed 783 Mongol horse archers and Mongols. Alright, let's go ahead and level up after that fight. So we're going to go ahead and have 30% more likely have children. Because we're going to want as many children as humanly possible. Because there's a good chance this big marshmallow dude gets killed... In the line of battle as a spartan hoplite so we definitely need as many kids as possible and 
first off, we need to marry Leonidas' daughter and win her over. So hopefully after that battle and after all of our exploits with Leonidas' party, she might want to actually talk to us. <laughs> she won't ignore us anymore. Yeah, there we go. Thick Spartan has tier rank increased by one. This is probably the most intimidated you could probably feel. Leonidas is your girlfriend's dad. That is probably the most scary thing you could ever think of. Thick Spartan, you have proven yourself to be a fine warrior, fine and thick warrior. For your bravery and your loyalty, I have decided to give you a promotion. Visit my bladesmith and my armor in the camp and they will provide you with the gear befitting your new rank. More like befitting my giant fat body, dude. They're going to have to do some custom armor for me. It is an honor, my lord. All right, so let's go ahead and change equipment. All right, there we go. So we can be a skirmisher or we can be a Spartan hoplite. So we get a spear, we get a bronze Xiphos, we get a hoplon, finally a shield. We get a helmet and we get some body armor and some shoes. That is pretty nice to see. Look at this. Oh my God. What? Oh my God, it's custom fitted. My boobs are even popping out. Look, my shirt. Uh, don't worry about that. My I already ripped a hole in my shirt because I'm so fat. But look at this, man. They actually got my size. And it's actually some good armor, too. Look at that 40 armor. That's not too bad. Some good helmet. Look at him, man. This is one happy dude. That shield is not going to help us much, but... Oh, they gave you a $2,000 spear? That's impressive. That's way better than the spear I had before. From 21 piercing damage to 58. Jesus, this is going to one-shot people. But yeah, there we go. So now we are finally ready to do some serious work, man. We're going to slaughter some people with this equipment. Oh, okay. So now we have arrived at the settlement, at the city. And we're actually making $50 a day, 50 dinars, which is pretty impressive. And we need about 1,000 more experience to get to tier 3 as a Spartan. So um, I'm going to go ahead. I know I have 16 health. Like, next to no health, but um, I might want to train with the troops, actually. And I'm going to go ahead and go into throwing training, because I know that's what I'm bad at. Did you just spawn behind me? That's not fair, dude. Hey, wait, wait. Just quit poking me. Ugh. Quit. Scholar. Basilisk the Scholar. Oh, my God. I didn't know he would spawn right behind me like it's a football drill, dude. How about cavalry? I know we're not really meant for cavalry, but let's go ahead and get on horseback. Oh, that was Leonidas. I didn't even know I was fighting him, dude. I just I just knocked out Leonidas himself. You know how mad he's going to be after that? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to win his, da his daughter over if I beat him up in combat. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is going to be the best way to level up my pole arm. So I'm just going to spam this, like, training for a little bit and just bonk everyone. Look at that, man. That's impressive. He's getting leveled up really quickly. Oh, 86 damage to the head. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this very first episode of Life of a Hoplite, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to help out this series, and also, for the next episode, we will be trying to train up Thick Spartan as much as humanly possible in order for him to rise through the ranks of the Spartan army and, and hopefully one day be able to marry Leonidas' daughter herself, as well as take over all of Calridia for the Spartan Empire. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Spartans.